Hey, how's it going, man? Okay, how are you? Good, what do we got? I got something you're not gonna believe. I've got a plaster impression of Joe DiMaggio's feet, and I've got them right here. Okay, so Joe DiMaggio's feet, huh? Joe DiMaggio's feet. That's a bad case of athlete's foot. Uh, <laughs> I came down to the pawn shop to sell a plaster cast impression of Joe DiMaggio's feet that were credited with saving this baseball career. I'm a fan of Joe DiMaggio because he's an amazing guy. I'm looking for $10,000. That seemed to be a very reasonable price considering the uh, uniqueness and historical significance. Tell me the story behind it here because it, uh, it's kind of weird that you have his feet. <laughs> My uncle was his foot doctor, and he created these casts to uh, develop inserts for Joe DiMaggio's baseball shoes that would relieve the uh, bone spurs that almost ended Joe DiMaggio's uh, career. Now, was this before the streak or after? This is after the streak. After the streak, OK. What streak are you talking about? Uh, Joe DiMaggio, I mean, it's considered one of the last, like, unbreakable records there is. I mean, he went a. Uh, had 56 games and got a hit in every single game. Wow, it's impressive. Uh, during the course of that streak, his batting average was like over 400. And the guy was one of the best baseball players to ever live. DiMaggio helped the Yankees win nine World Series titles. And in 1955, he was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame. The man is a true baseball legend. Do you mind if I take a look at him? No, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Now, is that supposed to be a signature there? That is a signature. OK. How much do you want for him? I'm looking to get $10,000. OK. Um, I just never even heard of plaster casts of some guy's feet before. Um, I just don't know what they could be worth, man. I'll, I'll tell you what, let me have a buddy of mine come down and take a look at them for me, because the problem with one-of-a-kind items is sometimes they're only worth money to one person. <laughs> OK. Bet I'll be right back, all right? Thanks. I welcome uh, expert opinion, because I've done my research, and uh, it would be disappointing if he believed there, the value of these were less than my asking price. That, that would be disappointing. The guy was a legend, and I know there's a huge market for his memorabilia, but this is such an unusual item, I have no idea what it's worth. So I called Jeremy in to come down and check it out. Yeah, I got to say, man, in all the years you guys have been calling me in, I've seen some extraordinary things, but this is by far the wildest. It's not every day you can see plaster molds of arguably the best player during his generation. When he joined the New York Yankees in 1936, you know, he batted right behind Lou Gehrig, and, uh, you know, right away he just made such a big impact with the club. Maybe next to Willie Mays, he's the best center fielder in the history of baseball. Joe DiMaggio is one of those few names that has really transcended generations, along with Mickey Mantle, Babe Ruth. He was a 13-time All-Star, won nine World Series championships, and only Yogi Berra has more than him. So what do you think? Well, when Joe joined the Yankees, he had bad knees. And then over his career, just after he achieved so much stardom on and off the field between, you know, knocking in runs for the Yankees and winning championships to, you know, marrying, you know, Hollywood goddess and Marilyn Monroe, you know, every single thing that Joe did was known by the public. Late in his career, his feet were a big problem. And um, ultimately, a lot of people think that it was his feet that caused him to retire following the 1951 season. OK. okay. Here's my big thing. I, it's a weird item for me. No doubt. Um, what do you think they're worth? Well, we're dealing here with two elements. I mean, first of all, we have plaster molds of arguably one of the best center fielders in the history of baseball. And then the second element we have is the actual autograph. It's actually personalized to your uncle, your pal, Joe DiMaggio. OK. So I mean, these are obviously, without a doubt, a one of a kind piece here. And there's no shortage of people collecting Joe DiMaggio items out there. Plus, his feet were a big part of his success. Uh, compared to other DiMaggio items, um, I would put the value at around three to 5,000 bucks. Well, Jeremy, I appreciate you coming down, man. Absolutely, Corey. Good to see you, Jeremy. All right, see you there. Good luck to you. Great, thank you. You bet. The value of this item is really tricky, since it's not only a one-of-a-kind item, but it's a very unique item in that fact that it's a plaster mold, which is something that collectors never ask for. So you heard my guy. He said, you know, between three and 5,000. Uh, not near what we were actually looking for. Are you still interested? Uh, not at that price. Okay. Really. Um, no matter what I pay for this, it's speculation. I'm guessing that I'm going to be able to make money on it one day, but I really don't have any idea. So, I mean, for me to make you an offer at this point is just kind of ludicrous. <laughs> yeah. OK. All right? Understood. Appreciate you coming down, man. Great. Thank you. You know, I have a different view regarding the value of the item, but it is disappointing that it was substantially below the price that we're looking for.